Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to a another episode. Lucy, Millie, what are you guys doing? Get, yeah, good job, Lucy. You go get them. You go get them. How's Stan doing? Oh, wait. Rip. How's all the fish doing? It's, uh, it actually cleared up. You guys can't see. Oh my god, big bass. It actually cleared up. That's crazy. It's, but the sun isn't quite, it ain't quite hitting the dangle right here. But it's actually cleared up. That is crazy. It's been like on and off just being looking like milk toast and not milk toast. If honestly, if the sun's out later today, it'll probably look pretty decent. But they still have some goldfish in there. I still see some tadpoles. I'm not sure if they've eaten all the crawfish or not. But there's lots of tadpoles right there. And like I said, there's still some, still some old goldy fish. Oh, and some minners in there. But they're hanging out. All the fish, they're doing, they're doing all right. Let's go check on the pigs. See what these guys are doing with their life. What up, little oinkers? How you guys? How you guys doing? Oh, chill. Hey, let me turn this off. Oh, it was off. Oh, really? Well, congrats. You guys didn't escape. That's that's a good deal there, buddy. Hey, you guys doing? You guys want some food? You guys drinking? Oh, you, man, you know, I can't tell if you really drank any of that water. You got a pool though, so you you guys have that. Boots. How's it going, Boots? Rick, you see Rick? What are you doing over there, Rick? All the animals are on this side now. We opened the gate up yesterday. Well, actually, Rick broke the gate, um, so we let them just kind of have at it, and uh, just so they could eat that fresh grass over there. We might actually move them back today to get them off the fresh grass, because you don't want them to go like full fresh grass for a long time, because they can blow it, especially old Carol. Carol will blow it. That ain't good for nobody. Oh, llama sniffing Steve's butt. This is good. This is a good deal. Anyways, you guys hungry or what? You guys want a little bit of food? Don't have to eat some. Oh, chill. You guys want some food? What up, cheese? What up, rice? You guys hungry or what? Oh, you big boy. Oh, big boy's hungry. Hey, get out. Get out the pool, Rick. Hey, hey. All right, this is your new feeding dish. Congrats. There's no food yet. This is why we can't have nice things. Got it. That's old big boy there. They're hungry. You might be wondering what happened to the old automatic feeder. Oh, they broke it. Just like, you know, they treat it about the way they treat their pool. They just pretty much just break it. We're still repairing the feeder. We can fix it. We just need to do a little maintenance on it. But uh, for now, we're having to kind of feed them every day. I'm giving them like two and a half, three scoops. These guys get a couple scoops. They're chilling. They're hanging out. It's going to be hot today, though. Their mud's looking good. And they got a nice little swimming pool. So the pigs are good to go. What are you doing, Rick? How you doing, big boy? What are you doing, big boy? What up, Dale? How's it going, Bo Boots? I can hear you. You don't need to scream, all right? Hey, Rick. Hey, Dale. How's it going? What are you guys doing? Well, I'm Rhodes. Rick? Rick? Why? He just wants a friend. He needs Bonzo to play with right now. Look at all the animals. We haven't seen the animals over here in a while. Dude, they mowed this grass down. That is unbelievable. We should, yeah, let's move them back. I think what we're doing, because we're still waiting for that fence to get built up top. Um, So what we did is we let them watch it again. Rick, you broke the fence, Rick, but you were kind of the, hey, you be nice to Lucy, Rick. I'll throw you on the old catch and cook table. You keep that up. We put them over here. We let them mow this grass down. It's honest, they cut it down pretty good. Oh, they haven't even been out here 24 hours, but we can move them back. Hey, big boy. You got to be nice, Rick. You got to be nice, Rick. Rick. Boots. Oh, Rick. Rick. No. Rick. Rick. Quit. Rick. Rick, stop it. Rick, you're going to break this fence, Rick. Hey, Rick. All right, well, let's move them. Let's move them back. Um, and then we'll let this grass grow back up. And then, because that side's pretty much, that uh, that side's pretty much out of commission. There's really no going back on that side. This side, the grass is still decent. Um, So we let them kind of munch. They munched all these low hanging trees. We're going to put them back here, then let this grow for another week, and then bring them back. We're trying to rotate them a little bit. And then once our fence is built up there, then obviously they'll have all the fresh grass that they could possibly ever want. So let's give these guys some grain. Look at all these animals. Look at uh, these. Uh, you guys hungry or what? Oh, rip. We're good. Llama Rose, look at her. Llama, you want some grain, buddy? There you go, Llama, just for you, buddy. We wouldn't do this for anybody else. But since you're Llama Rhodes, you get what you want, buddy. Steve! Steve, come join your girlfriend, Steve. Steve. Hey, Steve. Steve. He's an idiot. Such a good llama. Hey, Karen. How's it going? You want some Karen? Karen. This is for Llama Rhodes, Karen. Oh, she's chewing. Look at that. Look at her chewing. <laughs> Why you look like that, llama? <laughs> that mouth do, Llama Rhodes. Yeah, no, let Swallow. Easy. Chew with your mouth closed. You, you ever hear that? It's, that's rude. You're not supposed to chew it. I don't like being that close. You got it. You're spilling half of it, llama. Is this good? Is this delicious? Yeah, you're a good llama. All right, let's throw, we'll throw you guys a couple more scoops, and I'm gonna go shut that gate so they don't get back over. It's Steve. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> llama, spit on him. Spit on Rick, llama. Llama, spit on him. She's scared of Rick. All right, let's just throw him a couple more scoops. Hey, Boots, how's it going? Llama, you want some more, buddy? You, you realize I can't just hand feed you all the time, right? Like. You're the biggest beefcake here on the farm. You gotta be able to hold your ground. You know what I mean? When Rick when Rick tries to fight you for some grain, you gotta just spit on Rick or something. Show him who Llama Rhodes really is, you know what I mean? 
All right, there you go. Everything's fed. Let's go shut the gate. What are you doing, Llama? I ain't got no grain over here, Llama. You gotta make this thing Rick proof. Come on, Llama. Rick proof. No more Rick busting through the gates. You too, Dale. We know how vicious you are. Yeah, that, that way they got a, they got one day worth of fresh grass. That way you can kind of ease them into it. Because I know, like, especially with cattle, you gotta give them, like, magnesium and stuff. Otherwise, they'll bloat. And it's just not good to go from hay and grain to fresh, luscious green grass. Because they just, they don't know when to stop eating. They just eat until they're sick. So, putting them on for a day, taking them off, kind of let them acclimate to the idea of it. Eventually, they'll be on full pasture all the time. At least through the warmer months. But I'd say that's probably Rick proof. I'm sure he'll figure out how to get through. But everything's fed. Llama, come here, llama. Come here, llama. I'm your friend, llama. Give me a hug, llama Rhodes. Rip. Anyways, everything else is fed. Chickens are good. Quail are good. They all have been laying eggs. Been doing farm things. But today's adventure is not going to even be here. We're going to be going down to the farm. We're going to attempt to do something I've never done before, ever. And that is trot line fish. It's a whole new concept. As you guys have seen, I'm starting to get more into catfishing. Um, I actually really enjoy it. I like the taste of them. Uh, it's a new challenge. It's kind of like relearning how to fish. Because like, I've always bass fished. Bluegill fishing is you know, not that complicated, obviously. But catfishing, there's a little bit of an art to it. Just a little bit. Not not crazy. But to me, I like because it's almost like relearning how to fish again. Because bass fishing, I feel like I I know fairly well I've done it my entire life so it's not like anything new to me if I want to go catch a bass I kind of know what the steps to take catfish I'm still trying to figure out and another method to catching catfish besides jug lines and just throwing a rod and reel is a trot line so we're gonna go down to the farm and uh, see what happens bring some old sauce down there I've, like, I've never rigged up a trot line before so if I'm doing anything wrong in this video you guys let me know but before this video gets started I want to say huge thanks to Carl's for sponsoring today's video you guys can go to shopcarls.com link down below and get up to 30% off all fishing gears you can see they've got tons of stuff on their website up to 30% off if you guys are a Carl's member so click the link down below and go sign up to be a Carl's member huge shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's video if you guys are in need of any fishing gear at all rods reels lines lure any species no matter what it is Carl's has it for you guys link down below shopcarls.com go check it out and I'll uh, see you guys at the farm Shoo! all right folks well we made it down to the farm it is time to rig up the old trot line which I have never done before um I researched it a little bit um, and we ended up buying this kit right here. Boom, this is a Walmart Magic Bait Catches Fish Trot Line. Big catch with stainless steel trot line clips. Eliminates tying leader to main line. See back panel. That thing. So, we're gonna get this thing unboxed here and see if we can make it work. I'm not sure. It holds 25 hooks, which is a lot. I feel like that should be enough. We can't catch fish on 25 hooks. Well, we're just milk toast at that point, so. We'll see if, this, we, see if we can figure this thing out. All right, so this thing, okay, looks like it's wrapped around some styrofoam. That's neat. Okay, oh, the other side's not losing. We've got clips. We've got, this is probably the, the drop, and then we've got a bunch of hooks, which I'm not sure. We could probably use some circle hooks too, because these hooks are probably not that good. I think you're supposed to use circle hooks because they kind of hook themselves, but we can maybe do like half and half. That way we can kind of see, do these actually work or is it the circle hooks that we need to use? So it, it's kind of nice though. This thing comes, I don't remember this thing even being that expensive. It comes with a lot. I mean, like I said, 25 hooks. See how sharp these guys are. Oh, well, I've had sharper dinner forks. No, it's actually not that bad. It's just not the circle hook. So like I, said, I think if we do half, they do have the big eyelet though, which I think is gonna be key for running this. So this is your drop line. And again, I know nothing about this. So if I'm if I'm messing it up, you guys just let me know. You guys know the drill. I'm, I never know what I'm doing here. So I'm always looking for your guys' advice. Go ahead and just cut this little thing open here. So I think we're gonna have to like tie our own. Cause I'm guessing this is just one continuous rope. Oh, it is. <laughs> this is the way to go folks. All right. This is the deal. I cannot believe that. Okay So then you've got this doohickey. Why is this? This thing's soaking wet. That is so weird I don't know why I smelled it either, but okay, so then you've got your clips. All right Wow, I cannot believe they gave you pre-cut string like that. Walmart's got it figured out So here's your clip. So your clip goes on to this thing. So that's your that's gonna be the bottom So you're gonna look for these two little blue things. Okay, so there it is I'm just gonna show you guys We I'm not gonna unravel the whole thing because you're supposed to do it kind of like as you go So what you're gonna do though is you gotta do it like that. Okay, like that So you clip that on like this But what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to tie this to this little swivel here So this could probably be whatever knot you're feeling I might try the old palomere knot here try the old palomar knot We'll see if that comes if that works out or not. We're not really sure it might be the easiest way because I don't palomar knot's pretty strong So then this is gonna be that's your tag end so you can probably cut this off I'd leave a little bit just in case of it slips at all But then you got this doohickey here So make sure that doesn't come unraveled which it looks like it's actually about to so that's neat But what you'll do is then you're gonna tie a loop knot So you're gonna take it like this it's an overhand loop knot is a pretty bad tutorial because you can't even tell what's going on here But like that little loop then you're gonna take your hook and you double it through there like that, and then you just go around your hook like that. 
boom easy peasy then you take it and you're going to clip it on in between these little bobber stopper thingies and that's it so that thing you're going to have 25 of them little dangle sticks dangling down there for them kitty cats so we're going to get all these built and then we're going to go out there you're supposed to like attach these as you go we didn't bring a boat though so that's kind of a slight issue i guess um we didn't bring a boat so we can't like go out there and do it like you're supposed to so we're gonna have to try to do it from the shoreline which could be a total disaster we're not sure either way we're gonna make up 25 of these little doohickey drop things so you guys stay tuned That bug there folks we got her done did so now comes oh we, we got it we get the weight that big freaking weight Ooh. yeah we should probably get that we got everything loaded up in the bucket we, we figured this might be the best system to keep at least most of it from untangling or not getting tangled but we've got weenies we got worms we've got paps juice a huge weight so we've got everything loaded up here this is basically what it looks like we got all the hooks lined up we've got paps stuff we've got wieners we've got all the worms we've got a weight like I said this is going to be interesting without a boat we do have the old tank though the old tank's ready to rock and roll. I've, I've been debating though, folks. I'm, I'm thinking about giving this thing away. Um, I've used it for about a year now. Um, it's really not that bad. It's got like 50 hours on it. Thing's an absolute freaking unit though. Like it's it's a beast. It floats. It does. We could even take it in the water today. We'll see. I'm thinking about giving it away. I'm not sure how I want to do it, but comment down below. Do you guys, would you guys want to win this? Because basically it's like a four wheeler that floats it's like a boat and i got a little attachment you can put a motor on if you want so it's basically like a boat and it, it's just this whole thing we're thinking about giving away not sure how we want to go but comment i just want to gauge the interest would this be something you guys would want to take home or not that being said let's go set this trot line out Shoo! all right folks well we made it out to the spot so this is where we've done some trapping over here we've done some fishing over here we've done all sorts of good stuff the water's so high right now also once we get these set out i'm going to show you guys the update over there on the old duck pond it's it's a pond now folks it's completely full of water with all this rain so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but oh god look at all these cats Meow. so we're thinking i mean you could tie it up to how deep do you think this is right away because we could tie I, the problem is there's all these t posts so i don't want them to get tangled in that ideally if you tied it to like that and then just stretched it to there you would get the ton i mean the water's flowing through that tunnel like crazy though so i don't know if the, the catfish might it might be blown out like it might be too much current for them so this could be a total botch um we could run it from there to here. We just got to figure out how to get, we just carry one end around. The problem is then hooking all the hooks on there without them getting tangled up. This is why you need a boat. You definitely need a boat in this situation. I think the easy, easiest would be this. Let me jump in this water and see what it's like. It might be a sheer, oh God. I mean, I could tie to this. I wouldn't go much further. I mean, I could reach, I can probably reach to here. And then, I mean, if we just, if we just have a weight, we could always throw it out a little bit and then just have, if we have something to bring it. I mean, if I can reach here and bring them in this way, yeah. right? It's a little deep. Most people lay the line out and then pick them up and then hook. That or we just send the old Argo out there. I mean, it floats enough. I mean, it would work. If I'm by myself, I, it's not bad because I can kind of mess with the weight a little bit. I mean, I could send it out there. What do you think? Get the old tank out there. All right, so why don't we try it without the tank? If it doesn't work, we get the tank. Let's do that. Oh, oh just went over. Rip. All right, first one's gonna be there. I would, what do you think about tying a weight to the end and like yeeting it there and then just retrieving from this side? Cause I feel like if we do this, it's not, we're not really covering much water, it's too shallow. Here's the question, would it be smarter to run this out, get in the tank, sink it, and then like pull us along and attach and pull along attach? Should I just send the Argo in and see what it, how it acts? Sure. All right, let's just do that. I say we just send it, hopefully she still floats. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got it. Well, we made a terrible decision to leave all of our stuff on the shore and then launch somewhere else. And we gotta get back up on the shore and grab our stuff. I don't know if this is gonna go very well. The old tank doesn't do it does great in the water, it's just you know, you're not it's not like a boat, you're not maneuverable or nothing like that. So it's uh setting out these lines and baiting and stuff, and it's gonna be a lot of multitask. Plus the wind's just absolutely freaking ripping down the old pipe here, so 
Yep, you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, you got it. Ooh, that's slippery. Oh, you got it. We made it. All right, so now, how do you, how should we do this? Why don't we take a boat? <laughs> just that about, would be good. about the old boat. So yeah. I'll turn it around and send us out this way, and we'll just let this rip until we get to the end, drop the weight, and then start hooking and work our way back. All right, well, I mean, it actually worked better than I thought. We're going to go ahead and tie this weight up to this. So we've got a weight, and then our trot line, you can see I'll pull it up. You can see it runs all the way down to there, so you can see it. So I'm going to turn this back out. Oh, I got hooks in the back. Rip. We'll go stretch this back out. We'll set this weight out and start getting baited up. We are professional catfishmen, I will tell you that much. So now this is our opportunity to rig up as many of these as we can to where we can just efficiently that type of deal. So so this is old pap sauce here. This stuff's this is the good stuff. It it smells really bad. Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. Get a little bit of that action in there. Oh, that smells fantastic, Pap. So that's one. So do you think dangle it in the bucket? This is gonna take a fat minute. We might not do all 25. We're gonna be here for it might be tomorrow by the time we get done with this. Yeah, you got it done, folks. Took like 10 minutes. We're good, we got the, a freaking bucket full of sauce here. We're gonna attempt to just start here and kinda just pull our way down. The biggest thing is this has eight wheels that could get tangled up in this, and that could just, that could be treacherous for everybody involved. So the goal is uh, not to get tangled up, and we're gonna let this sit out there for a little bit and hopefully we catch a fish, so wish us luck. All right, so clip number one. It's really not gonna, well, we probably shouldn't clip on that one because on that's on the bed. So throw this clip like this. Why did I just let go of that? I have no idea. I got it. Just testing the flotation of it. All right, so now ideally we'd pull, pull ourselves all the way to the other side. Wow, we got them all. Look at that. Boom. All right, so now, I don't know if we can climb that or not. Woo! Oh, I just sat right in Pap's juice. Got her out, folks. Time to head back to shore. Yeah. There you go, son. We're good. Shoo! Look at the old pond, folks. This is, well, this is actually a really bad thing because uh, we hadn't planted crops yet. We planted corn. Well, now that corn is doing that. So, uh, I mean, on a good note, I actually, I think the dam held. It doesn't look like it, it's just waters up to it, but there's no flow between this side and this side. So the dam that I built, if you guys missed this video, uh, we built this whole thing around here because we're gonna turn this into a duck hunting pond marsh area. But it wasn't supposed to be a pond yet. We saw how to plant crops and then we were gonna flood it. But uh, it looks like it, uh, well, it rained quite a bit. And so there's literally a pond now, like there's a foot of water in here. Uh, this dam, obviously we'll have to build up more. I packed this all in, um, so we'll have to add more. I mean, I hope this dries out quick. I don't know how long it, I mean, how long do you think it's gonna take for water to, I think it's gonna take a long time. This could potentially have botched our operation. We might have to try to either pump it out or maybe cut wherever the lowest point is, cut a, a gash in it to let it flow back into the old riverbed here. Cause I don't know, the water doesn't go away because the water table's so low. So honestly, water's probably gonna be in here for, for quite some time. The good news is that corn that we that planted over there, it, it actually looks fine, it's dry. But then the downside is right here, uh, filled with water because our levee is holding it. So now that's gonna back flood that way. So we actually flooded a bunch of good corn that way. So uh, rip to that. So that's, is yeah. It's not good. This is it's not a, it's not a good deal out here. It's it's good to know that hey, this thing will hold water because honestly, this is about deepest we would need it to be. You know, maybe like maybe knee deep. It's, yeah, just a little a little early. We we uh, it, honestly, it's probably good that it happened now though instead of like July because if we did in July, then we would be really screwed. At least now we know hey, it'll hold water. Maybe we need to put a tube in here to pump the water out and then we can dry it up to plant. We're not really sure. We're not sure what we're doing, but want to give you guys a quick update on the duck pond. It is now an official pond when I don't want it to be and damn held somewhat it just looks like the water sitting on top of it we just need to build it up more but the rest of it's good i think i'm confident now that i mean you can see where the water was i think it was up where it's all wet right there because that's where all the water i think it was up higher and then it's obviously drained since it hasn't really rained in like four or five days
anyways. But anyways, there's your little update. We're gonna go run in town. We're gonna grab some lunch, kind of hang out, relax, and let our trot line do trot line things. I'm not sure how confident I am, to be honest. I think this rain might have messed up a lot of the fishing. Um, you guys have seen some of the catfishing attempts that have not gone well. I'm blaming on the rain. Could be, could be, not be the rain. Could be the rain. We're not really sure. Anyways, we're gonna go grab some lunch, and then we're gonna come back and check on the old trot lines. Hopefully, we got a fish or a bunch. You guys stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, we got back from lunch. And it's time to check the old trout lines. I don't know if this is gonna work because I think there's been a lot that's changed with with the the rain, the rivers, the water. I'm making excuses in case we don't catch anything. I, I'm sure we got a couple bullheads. I mean, there was like a billion of them in here two weeks ago. I feel like we got some, but what we're gonna do instead of launching this guy, all those things a beast. It was just kind of it was a little bit difficult to navigate. We're gonna walk around and untie that end, come back, and then reel it in from here, and hopefully we got some fish. So you guys stay tuned. All right, we got the other side tied off. This is a moment of truth, folks. I don't think I need to jerk hard. I'm just gonna, no, I don't feel anything yet. Feels kind of tight. Nothing on one. Oh. It feels like there's something. Maybe not, maybe it's just, you think they're just dragging on the bottom? Uh, I think they're dragging on the bottom. Rip, I thought we had one. No, it was dragging on the bottom. You're kidding me. 24. We freaking suck. How do you not catch a catfish with 24 hooks? That's my question. How do you, how do, you do that? How is that physical loss when you know there's like millions of bullheads down here? Not one. We freaking suck. Shoo! Well, folks, you probably guessed it. Okay, we're at the backyard pond. What do you do when you cannot catch fish in any other place but your backyard pond? You go to your freaking backyard pond. Millie, what are you doing, buddy? How's it going? You go to your backyard pond, folks. So, uh, actually, water's looking pretty clean. Um, see, is there any. Oh, oh, big mama. Big mama in the moat. Oh, God. Ty, look at this. Look at this. See, oh, big mama? Wow. Oh, God. That's easily a four. That's a thick girl. That's a thick girl, Millie. She is thicker than you, believe it or not. I kind of want to try to catch. When are, do you think she's bedding? Why would she be under it's the late. moat? Yeah, I know. It seems late, right? What would Big Chungus be doing in the moat, though? Like, no fish, there's no bluegills to eat, like... She's just cruising. You can't see her, she's in the shadows right now. I won't scare her. We'll let her be today, it's her lucky day. We're on catfish duty. There's a reason why we aren't usually on catfish duty, because we freaking suck. But, we're gonna try throwing the old trot line out at the backyard pond, since, obviously, I know there's catfish in here, and I'm trying to learn how to catch them. So, that, you know, the old, you know, the old riverbed there, it, the, the water's gone up a ton, like, again, I keep blaming that on the fishing, but, I mean, it does affect the fishing quite a bit. And so, I'm thinking that some of the fish aren't in the same areas as they were, because, I mean, honestly, like, two weeks ago when we were making the videos like cast netting i mean you guys so many fish were there's no way there were, there's no way the fish are still in that exact same spot and then we didn't catch anything so with that being said we're gonna get all the gear throw it out on here millie you are not going on the boat not with the trout line we don't need that disaster and uh we're gonna try probably stringing honestly from like around the doomsday shelter just across this little canal here because right now there's just a nice channel and he goes up to the dam the catfish might go up to the dam and feed and stuff like that so i don't really know we're gonna get out there and set it out and we're gonna let it sit overnight and come back tomorrow morning and check on it you guys stay tuned well folks we're starting off we're gonna hey you stay no 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 you can't we're gonna be back in two seconds so we tied this thing off to this stick here and then we're gonna run it and aim for about that stick here this is gonna cross the channel we've caught some catfish here we've caught some catfish over there we're gonna run it straight across the channel and uh and hope for the best so wish us luck all right here we go folks the boat's the way to go though i will say that this is much more it makes a lot more sense being on this john boat than on the old tank i mean we could just leave it as is i just kind of it basically is gonna go and then it cuts and then it's gonna run along here. We don't know what we're doing, folks, in case you guys were curious. Well, we got it all out. You can see how far we are from Millie. That's kind of where we started, was way down yonder. So it pretty much ran and then it got caught on a tree and then it's shooting here. So we kind of like go run down and then back. So I don't know, I mean, I don't think it'd be too bad. We've got to uh, figure out what to tie up to though. Maybe the old truck? Sure. Why do I have no faith? I have none. I have zero faith right now. I don't know if that's gonna work. Cause they're all, uh, they're all gonna be laying on the bottom. I feel like aren't they supposed to be suspended? Either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! Well, folks, it's the next day. We got Bonzos here. Bonzo, you know what? You missed a sick day yesterday. That was a neat day because we took the old tank out and caught zero fish. And well, the old trot line we stuck out here, it got stuck on a tree. And so we ended up just kind of leaving it. So that could completely botch today's operation. But Bonzo, you're going to be on dog duty. Oh, hey, Lucy. How you doing? Bonzo's going to babysit you. Does that sound good? You excited for Bonzo to babysit you? Look, Millie. She can't even contain her excitement. All right, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Go check this old trot line. Millie, you think we got anything, buddy? Oh, it's starting to rain. That's neat. I enjoy that. There's no chance we have anything. I got it. <laughs> We're good. Oh, there's a lot tugging right now. Might rip. They might rip it out of my hands. How do you not catch them with 25 hooks? That's my question. All right, you ready? Don't feel anything? No bait. No bait. Oh, I think I got it off the tree. Oh, 
Oh. I can't tell. It's tight. I think I got off the tree though. Oh no, it's the anchor. <laughs> Why do you think it's tight? Nothing. 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 Oh god, it's stuck again. Oh god, it's stuck. Not in a good way either. Oh god. Oh gosh. Dude, it is not moving. What does one do when they can't break off the trot line? What if there's a keg on the other side? We well, never know. What if this is a fish the whole time? What if you have Loch Ness? I think we just take the L. I mean, what do you do at this point? Because there could be a fish on there. You just don't know. Well, boys, go trot lining, they said. It'd be fun, they said. Well, folks, obviously trot lining is just not for me, but Bonzo just, he screamed and yelled at us uh, because there's a snapping turtle. Listen, Rick. Oh, he's not, no, Stan was bigger than him. Oh yeah, Stan was definitely bigger than him. Millie, that's bad. Bonzo found the old snapper and, uh, well, they're not really good because, um, well, they eat fish, for one. Two, they, they would try to attack Millie. Well, actually, Millie was sniffing it and Lucy was sniffing it. And look, if Bonzo was on a babysitting duty and you and I left, Oh, ka -chow. We'd be in the ER right now because they sniff it and then obviously the snapping turtle does snapping things. So, hey puppies, hey, thank Uncle Bonzo for saving your life, Millie. You too, Lucy. No, that's bad snapping turtle. You don't want to, you don't want to mess with the little snapper. We're going to go ahead and try to uh, take care of this guy. She's up here because uh, you think it's laying eggs right now. So this guy right here, as you guys know, they're laying eggs um, this time of year especially, but like being this far from water, they're up here laying eggs. So we don't, I mean, as much as I hate snapping turtles, they don't do any good. They eat fish. They potentially would have killed the puppies. I mean, that would have been an absolute block. Since she's laying eggs i don't really want to kill her um so we're gonna attempt to relocate her um at a spot further away to where because we're always down here at the pond and we're always down by the animals but honestly i think a probably a decent spot would probably be like further back if we can get them to stay back there i don't know do you, th do you think it would come back to the pond though or uh, if it's near water then no so if we put it by the other water you think it'd be fine because there's really not what there's a pond over there too so it could find that but we we could just go put them down by the creek we're gonna try to relocate this guy just because obviously being right here it's gonna be protecting it's it's eggs and it just it's not gonna be good these guys i don't know if you guys have seen snapping turtles bite it's not good like if millie got bit in the face it doesn't let go she'd be freaking out like i said we'd be in the hospital so try to relocate this guy All right, buddy, we're gonna go relocate you. Yeah, you can see she dug a hole for her eggs. We want her to lay her eggs, but we're gonna take her actually down to a creek that we crawfish trap where she can't get back to here. How's it going, little turtle? We're gonna get you a new home where you can't hurt the old puppies, all right? Does that sound good? You know, you know Stan? Rip. All right, don't bite me, please. Oh, easy, easy. There you go, you're free. So, we took her down to this creek. This is actually where we've trapped crawfish and stuff. So there's a creek here, lots of flat ground. There's a nice area here. It is close to the road. We don't want her to get hit, obviously, but hoping that she goes down this way. Like I said, there's flat ground there, and then there's the creek, or she could cross the road if she really wanted to go to the other side. This is the best spot nearby that we have. It's not on my property. It's, I mean, it's just, a, it's public. It's just all just a random creek here. Um, but we figure it's not gonna cause any issues for anybody else um, because it's not, there's no houses around here. There's no ponds or anything like that. We just want to get them out of the pond because we don't want them eating the fish. We don't want them biting the puppies. So we relocated her and shot the bonds for saving the old pup. Pups would have been KO'd if it wasn't for Buddy because these things are, they're not nice. And I, I do feel bad moving her because she was about to lay her eggs, but she hadn't laid them yet. She'll be fine. She can dig a hole right here if she wants. She can go a little bit further down. She can lay her eggs and have all the snapping turtle babies she wants over here and not at my house. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We suck at trot line fishing. I'm so sorry, folks. We tried. We tried, we tried, we tried so freaking hard. Comment down below if we're doing something wrong. Uh, maybe we need to do circle hooks. We just use the hooks that they came with. Maybe we're using the wrong bait, wrong location, or just bad luck in general. I'd like to give it another shot, but I feel like I need to like go out with somebody that knows what they're doing so I can learn because uh, so far we pretty much got our butt kicked. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, let me know. Should we give away the old tank? Let me know if we should do that. If you, one of you guys would want to win that, let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.